Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So a few days ago I got an email asking about something called Game Engine, how it's apparently an AI game engine, and with that it was able to generate Doom, and it was generated by the AI, the whole game. Not a single line of code was written by humans, so all code was generated by the AI. So they asked my thoughts about this frightening and amazing technology. So first off, thanks for the email, that was the first time that I've heard of this. I have since looked into it quite a bit deeper, and it's not exactly as it may seem. Now first of all, right away, this is extremely impressive technology. You can see how pretty much all the interactions work. So the character actually moves and goes up and down some stairs. You can see how it actually shoots some enemies, how it actually interacts with like exploding barrels, how it can go up to a door and see a message about how it requires some kind of key. The UI seems somewhat consistent, so everything does seem relatively correct. However, importantly, this is not generating any code. There is no code behind this at all. What this is doing is basically just generating images, just generating video. So essentially nobody wrote some prompt kind of like make me an FPS and the AI just instantly from that prompt decided to create Doom. That is not what happened. You can see over here the entire paper for how they made this. This is super detailed, they talk about everything that they did. And essentially this is using stable diffusion in order to generate all of the images. And for training those images, overall they generated 900 million frames for training. So again, this is not really generating any code in the background, it is really just generating video. Basically it learned from watching a ton of people play Doom, and it learned that when the player is behind some kind of exploding barrel, when the player shoots that barrel, it shows some kind of image showing some kind of destroying barrel. Which of course, since it's all essentially based on video, it's all essentially based on people actually playing the game. Because of that, you still need game developers to actually make the game so that you can get the people playing the game, which can then feed the AI, which can then generate images of the game essentially being played. In fact, one very interesting part is over here around the 56 second mark, how the character, yep, there it is, looking to the side, seeing some poison sign, goes inside the poison, and then flips around, and all of a sudden the room completely changes, so the layout is completely different. Basically, this is a hallucination in action. Essentially, the AI only has about a 3 second memory. So, since the player moved forward and waited more than 3 seconds, the AI now has no context on what's behind it, because again, it doesn't really have a level, there's really no world, there's really no logic behind it. It is really just generating images based on what it assumes is the next image based on the previous image. So it is not a game engine, but honestly that thing made me realize there is one potentially very positive use case for this. Essentially, hallucinations are usually a bad thing for AIs. Usually you want to remove hallucinations as much as possible, but in this case I think that could be a great positive. Like for example, imagine you make some kind of prototype for your game. You make that prototype, make it just the bare bones thing, then you train some kind of AI in order to quote unquote play that prototype, and then you use the AI, you make it play through the game in some kind of way, you increase the hallucination meter up to the max, and doing so, the AI can potentially help you essentially brainstorm new areas, new items, new enemies, and so on. The AI will basically try to play the game using data that it has, but if it's hallucinating, that's basically going to come up with things that it hasn't necessarily seen. So one potentially positive use case for this would exactly be that. Use the hallucinations as a positive in order to essentially brainstorm all of the new things that you could add to your game. But back to the original question. So can I make a video on AI game engines and their impact on Unity and how these engines will affect indie devs? Also, what time frame will indie devs feel this impact? and how these engines will affect their games. Again, like I said, it's not really an engine, it's really just generating images. And in order to generate those images, the game has to still exist. So this is the kind of thing that is not replacing game devs, the game dev still has to exist, still has to build the game. So yep, I do agree, this is amazing technology, but I don't think there's any reason to be frightened about it. If anything, I see this as potentially a very useful tool for working alongside developers as opposed to replacing them. Essentially, when it comes to AI replacing game devs, my view has always been quite simple. Game development is an extremely difficult thing, it requires so many disciplines, you have to be good at so many things. You have to do programming, game design, art, sound design, music, and so on. You have to be good at building things in order to make a proper game. So essentially, in order for an AI to basically build an entire game out of just one prompt, in order for that, the AI needs to essentially be AGI. So it has to be actual general intelligence. It needs that since game development involves so many different disciplines. And when that happens, when we have AGI, at that point, either the world will burn to the ground or everything will become a beautiful utopia. So that's why personally I'm not really worried about AI replacing game devs. If it ever becomes capable to make an entire game by itself, if so, then by that point we're going to have much bigger problems. By the way, I also wrote about this topic on my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is where I cover the latest news and any interesting game dev articles that I come across. So I've previously written about Valve's new game, about Steam's new rules, about the Game UI database, about some interesting articles for devs showing their revenue, and a bunch more stuff. And if you share it with a friend, you can get some really awesome rewards. Check it out with the link in the description and sign up. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.